Namaskar. Today's topic is research and publication ethics. So, this first I will call about RDP research publication ethics module 2, which is scientific misconduct. Scientific conduct. So, we are going to topic on scientific conduct. What is scientific conduct? Its objective is that to first of all, I am giving this structure of this topic, the entire this course is what is content of this course. So, the scientific conduct is objectives of the course and then introduction, ethics with respect to science and research, intellectual honesty and research integrity, scientific misconduct, FFP that is a falsification, fabrication and plagiarism. Then redundant publications that is duplicate and overlapping publications. And selective reporting and manipulation of data, then summary, then questionnaire and assessment and reference and bibliography that you will get in the course material. Okay. What is research objectives or that is in a scientific conduct? So we talk about as a what you know, what we think about the general interaction of this. So research integrity may be defined as active adherence to the ethical principles and professional standards essential for the responsible for the practice of the research. By active adherence, we mean adoption of the new principles of the principles and the practices as a personal credo, not simply accepting them as imposition by rules makers. By ethical principles, or we mean that honesty is the golden rule and trust of worthiness and high rigors for scientific record. For individual, research integrity is an aspect of moral character and experience. It involves above all a commitment to intellectual honesty and personal responsibility to one's actions and to range of practices and characteristics possible research conduct or is a national sample survey which talks about this. So, scientific research ethics vary in the, if we say the academic criteria for according to the flex now. The scientific research ethics vary by discipline and by contrary and this analysis sought to understand those variations. This course material provides insights to the learners and regarding the researchers, government officials and others who create modify and enforces ethics in scientific research around the world with an understanding to how ethics are created, motivated, monitored and enforced across the scientific disciplines and across international boundaries. Different review literature are available across scientific disciplines which were conducted through interviews with experts in the United States, Explorer, America, China, different places. Those research has two motivations. Those research has two motivations. One is that inform the researchers and the sponsors who engage in research in emerging scientific disciplines and who may face new official clarification, etc. To the to inform researcher sponsors, including of uh, government officials who wish to encourage ethical research without the unintervened educational researchers pursue to research in the surroundings. After going through these slides or this unit, learners will be able to what is called that the to provide inside the learners regarding scientific conduct and its implication in research. To know about the epistemology, ethics, and educational research, and to learn about the intellectual honesty and research 
in dignity to conjecture about the possible scientific misconducts to summarize the london publications to distinguish between the duplicate and overlapping publications to know concerning salami slicing to search for relevance experience and argument for warrant and might support one brief rather than another so interactions of this in its ethics and aspects of science research is according to the don of first 2020 united nations education scientific unesco defines research as a systematic and creative actions taken to increase knowledge about the humanities humans culture and society and to apply in new areas of interest scientific research is a research performed by applying systematic and constructed scientific problems and obtain analyze and interpret data so scientific research is the what you call the neutral systematic plant and multiple steps process that uses provisions of previously discovered facts to advance knowledge that does not exist in the literature it can be classified as observational or experimental with respect to the data collection technique descriptive or analytic with respect to the casualty and to productive to prospective and retrospective or cross sectional with respect to the time that is the most important is the two time all scientific investigation start with a specific research questions and the formulation of a hypothesis to answer those questions hypothesis should be clear specific and directly aim to answer the research questions a strong and stable hypothesis is the fundamental part of the scientific research the next step is testing to hypothesis using scientific methods to approve or disapprove it according to other the 1993 research is such research is a search for investigation directed to the discovery of some fact by critical consideration or study of a subject and it is a course of critical scientific inquiry research methodology means science of methods as well as body of methods or a systematic procedures and techniques required to be followed for accompanying accomplishing the activity every academic institution has to has its research guidelines and but sometimes students used to some unfair means when we prepare the research paper they used to do this unsatisfactory unfair means lack for lack of information of literacy skills or on the other hand now most of the academic institutions and popular information available on the internet Walton in 2019 modif mentioned that objective of research ethics firstly safeguard the human participations participants secondly confirm that research is a conduct for the benefit betterment of human being and society as a whole finally third objective is to examine specific research activities and comes for his or her moral soundness observations of problems like risk of research confidentiality protections and also the consent methods so according to the shamu or smith to some five substantials all these discussions are discussed below honesty sound judgment integrity care carefulness openness respect for interdisciplinary cooperation confidentiality accountability and uh, accountable publications accessible mentioning respect for collegium social accountability and non discrimination so these are the non discrimination these are the things so now what is ethical research when most of the thing we think that the morals the think neither rule or distinguishing between the rights and wrongs and shall be condemns of the rules so what is the implication of efficiency accuracy 
Most people learn ethical norms so in a, from home or in a school or in a church or in other social gathering settings. Although most people acquire their so as I, they acquire their sequence of rights and wrongs during the childhood, moral development access throughout the real life, and human uh, being through this different science of this and through this different science of the and simplified and guard these simple considerations. On the other hand, what economy of reforms at access? First, norms, principles, of this and the ethical I think use of information. How this ethical use of information and decision making of research that is the most important of these things. So integrity in the research, first of all, the prominent that the undo argue such as knowledge, truth, and awareness. Second, the ones the research means of integration information. Third, variety of ethical uh, norms uh, help to arrange and separate the information. So what is important is that there are several reasons why it is important of ethical forms of research. First norms to promote aims of research and knowledge and endeavor. And then second, science research often involves a great deal of cooperation and cooperation a coordination among the many different people of different disciplines or standards and the values and the essential of collaborations. Third, many of the ethical norms are helped to ensure that the researchers can be the, uh, held accountable and the, uh, to the public. For instance, federal policies of research misconduct, conflict of interest is important, human subject protections and animal care and use are necessary in order to make sure the researchers who are being funded by public money and held accountable to the past possible. Fourth, ethical norms of to the public uh, will public support for the research. And finally, many norms of the research or promote a variety of important issues like such as social responsibility, human rights, rights, animal welfare and co corporations, etc. with the views of the public health experience and public health and safety that is the most important part of the research. So this ethical decision making in research that is the most important part. So it is therefore important for the researchers to learn or interpret the and apply various research rules to make the decision to act ethically on various norms or situations. There are many other situations are available. One is the publishing the same paper in two different journals without telling the editors or submitting the same paper to different journals to telling other editors, not informing to the collaborators or that your intent to file a patent in order to make sure that sole inventor, including a colleague of as an author or paper written in a favor of even though the colleague did not make a serious contribution to that paper. Then discussing with your colleague paper that you are giving of a journal. U using data, ideas or methods you learn and about while answering or uh, 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 while uh, uh, filing a grant for this purpose. So overcrowding, neglecting or exploiting the attitude of graduate or postdoctoral students, then falling to keep a good research record, failing to maintain research data for a reasonable period of time, making derogative comments and personal attacks in your review of author submissions, promising a student better grade for sexual favors or using to react and effect of the laboratory or making a significant deviation from the research protocols approved by your institution or use of committee of institutional review board or a human being subject to the research and communicates on the board. So, not reporting an adverse event in a human research experiment, wasting animal in research, exposing students and staff 
to biological risk in violation of your institutions, biosafety rules, sabotaging of someone's work, stealing supplies, books or data, rigging of an experiment or you know how it will turn out and then making unauthorized copies of data, paper or computer programs. So unit four, so this intellectual honesty and research integrity. Integrity in research is the most important. Integrity characterizes both individual researchers and the institutions in which they work for. For individuals, it is an aspect of moral character and experience. For institution, it is a matter of pride or it is a matter of creating environment that promote responsible, promoting responsible conduct by embracing standards of excellence, trustworthiness and lawfulness that inform institutional practices. For the individual, scientist integrity embodies above all a commitment to the intellectual honesty and personal responsibility for one's actions and to a range of practices in characterize. So, respect of research conduct or intellectual honesty in proposing, performing and reporting research. Accuracy in representing contribution to the research proposals and fairness to paper reviewer. So these are the points we have to adhere to this point of this research of these things. Not reporting to the above. So as the integrity of the individual scientist or integrity in research, collegiality in scientific integrations including communication and sharing resources. Transparency in conflicts of interest or potential conflict of interests. Protection of human subjects in the conduct of research. Human care of animals in the conduct of research. And adherence to the mutual responsibilities between the investigations and the research, or research teams.